Hello, and today I'm going to be in a Geek Defense score with you guys of my brand new quad core 27 inch iMac. Yes, you heard you heard right. Yesterday, December the 25th, I got quad core 27 inch iMac. The process clocked at 2.66 gigahertz. There's four cores, and it's the i5, not the i7, but the i5, which is still really powerful. 27 inch high definition screen. You, you'll be able to get an idea of the specs when I run Geekbench because there'll be a full spec sheet but this one's a uh, uh, Windows um, uh, Snow Leopard and has a really great graphics card that's going to be great for gaming and um, editing my HD videos so if you guys remember back to my um, Christmas wishlist video I was hoping for a magic mouse and a copy of Windows 7. Obviously, th this is worlds apart from that, and worlds apart from wh what used to be my primary computer, which was which was a dual core 2006 MacBook, um, uh, clock in at 2.16 gigahertz integrated graphics and all that kind of stuff. So, um, really worlds apart. I haven't got Windows 7 yet. But I'll be, I'll be getting that soon, and I'll show you a future video on that, showing you how to install Windows 7 on a Mac if you don't already know. Now, um, the 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 system I was great speakers and it could quickly turn into a, a review of the iMac, but um, I'm not gonna try and make it that. I'm just really really excited because I had no clue that I was getting this. So yeah. Um, and obviously I've also got a magic mouse included as part of the package which I'll review separately in a later video but this isn't a review of the this isn't a review of <coughs> this isn't a review of the iMac this is more of a just Geekbench score and if you don't know Geekbench is um, well, a great benchmark and software where you can benchmark um, from other people kind of around the world that have the same system to know how your system's doing. So I thought I'd do a Geekbench score as with this system the score isn't gonna be embarrassing like it would have been with my MacBook. Um so let's just get started. I I pre did a score before I started the screen screen recording because I obviously that'll take up some CPU cycles and one other thing this is such a high res screen that um, n n neither of my screen recorders can actually cope with the full um, cope with the full resolution so I've had I've had to actually downsize for the sake of this video this is still e even now thousands and thousands of pixels larger and um, and more definition than my MacBook ever was, um, but it's just um, amazing to know how quickly we adjust to things. When I downsized for the sake of this video, my Firefox window was massive because after only one day of use, I'm used to having it so ridic ridiculously massive because I've got the screen size and the screen space. But anyway, I'm. Uh, I'll just show you what screen resolution I'm running at first. Um, um, if we just hop into system preferences um, and we check out the displays option. We can see that I'm I'm currently running at 1680 by 1050, but the native resolution of this this display, which is what I run out most of the time, is 2560 by 1440, which is an insane resolution. It's the highest, one of the highest resolutions you can get on consumer displays, and coupled with this. Uh, 27 just display it's just a great great experience I can't wait to watch some HD movies on it and 
when I get Windows 7 to do some HD gaming on it because that will be my first experience of HD gaming. Um, but anyway, I'm rumbling on. Here's the Geekbench score. There's actually a free version of Geekbench and a paid version of Geekbench. Now, uh, the Geekbench free version isn't actually going to leverage all of this because it's not. Um, is not 64 bit you can get that in the pro version but so take this with a pinch of salt because it's probably a little bit better than this but um but this this will just give you an idea of the 27 inch uh, core i5 imax so um here we go uh, i've already pre prepared a score because obviously the score won't be as good when the screen record is running and taking up CPU cycles um, so if we um, go over there it's called the uh, iMac 1.1 and you can you can see some of my scores there or um, so as an idea four cores the L the L the L the L three caches eight megabytes um, I've got um there's my memory four gigabyte four gigabytes of ten six memory memory this system I believe can go up to sixteen gigabytes so one day I might I may upgrade but certainly that day isn't today. This cost enough as it is. Um Uh, and then it goes down to the benchmarks, so you can just get an idea of. That, so I don't, I don't understand a lot of these benchmarks, but I understand it in terms of a graph. So if you um, sub submit it, um, and go to char chart performance of similar systems. Then it will um, put your computer on a on a level playing field with other systems. So um, it's certainly doing okay. Uh, and there's what where my mark sh should be. So just to prove that I'm not um, making up this score, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run Geekbench. Again, don't expect it to be anywhere near this the score did it was before because um now I'm recording and that will be taking up a considerable amount of cycles. So here we are ready to um do another Geekbench score and just to reiterate, um this is in thirty two bit mode so it won't leverage um my sixty four 64 bit that's in Snow Leopard and all my Ground Central Dispatch stuff that's going on with, with the graphics card. So, this is going to be kind of a good, good uh, um, representation as I can get, seeing as I can't afford Geekbench Pro. Um, and it also says here that Geekbench works best when it's the only application running. That's that's why I um. That's why I ran it before, but uh, um. So you could see a bit more accurate representation, but I'm just gonna do this again for the people who were saying that I I who um might say that I'm faking it. I'm just gonna prove to you guys that uh, live, so to speak, that I can actually do one, and I get a comparatively similar result. Um, so I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna try it out for now, and then I'm gonna hit, hit run Geekbench. And now it's gonna check. It's gonna check the system to see how it in fact fares against other systems. I 
again, I'm going to leave it running so you guys. So it was significantly lower that time. But like I said, it's still com comparative and likely to be expected. So that was a um, th that was a benchmark done by new quad core 27 inch iMac um, with a 2.66 gigahertz processor on each core. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you've got any comments about the iMac or about what you got for Christmas or about any any thing you'd like to see with the iMac, um, please feel free to do so. I'll be doing a review of the Magic Mouse. Uh, I'll also be doing a review of the 27-inch iMac, so stick around for those. If you want more technology content posted at different times, please feel free to visit my tech blog at www technobuffalo.com forward slash future tech there's some more stuff over there that you might want to check out thank you for watching this video i'm going to go back to my na native revolution now and uh, en enjoy my mammoth desktop um uh, and a uh, feature of screen flow that i'm also going to try out when i encode this video is something called motion blur because it was always it was always blocked out before um because uh, it wasn't forwarded on my HBA, but now because I have discrete gra discrete graphics, it's available. So uh, once again, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you like this. Subscribe for a whole bunch of iMac content and bootcamp content and a whole ton of content due to come very very soon. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.